Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I'm jumping in again on a streak of 18 and I do have to say I've had some mishaps um, that I've had to solve um, and I hope you guys can forgive me. Basically, I have attempted twice now to record videos with Tainted Blue Baby um, and both of them have been unanimous failures. The first one I, um, I, for one, I got an item really early on that kind of screwed me. Do you know the one where your item rooms and stuff swap between, they like cycle between different special rooms? I got that really early and it fucked me over, but that's not the big thing. The main thing is that, like, really early on, like the second floor, I don't know what item it was that I got, but, like, my poops, the, do you know you can use poops as bombs in, instead of bombs as Tainted Blue Baby? They just stopped working altogether. Like, I couldn't use them at all. So it really, really nerfed me. I tried to stick it through, but we only got to, like, the wound one. And, um, I I'll be honest, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I feel like it was a very, very unjustified death. So I did some shenanigans to get my streak back up to where it should be. You can class that as streak ended if you want, but... I think that that was a bug that massively hindered me, and I don't think it was fair. It was definitely a bug. And then my set, and I was very annoyed after that one, so I scrapped, I ended up scrapping the recording, so I was just like, that just wasn't a fun video. Um, because so I got like, I think I got like six items across the entire run to Womb 2, um, and I couldn't use poops for the entire run. Oh, well, past the second floor, I think it was. And it, yeah, it was just, it was just terrible. So I was just like, I'm gonna scrap that, and I was like, fair enough, fair's fair, whatever. I'll record another video. Didn't mention the first one, I just thought, move on. The second one, I got to the Stephen floor. Um, I already had not great health, but I got to the Stephen floor, and it was an Excel floor, which for one is a bug in itself. We've seen it a few times before, and it stops you from getting an item because there's no treasure rooms. So that's two treasure rooms we skipped out on. And then, not only that, I could still use my poops, but all of the UI for them was gone. So I had no idea what poop was coming next. And I also had this combo where, I think it was Baird's Eye, where if, do you know, do you know there's that poop you can use where it's literally just a fart cloud? If you use that, it automatically sets off a Baird's Eye fire, which in turn automatically detonates the gas. And I had no idea when that was coming, and I died to it. And in both accounts, I think both of those deaths were complete bullshit, both caused by bugs. You guys can judge them as you please, but I've re-got my streak back to where it should be, and I'm just gonna skip over Tainted Blue Baby, because I hate him. I will never play him again as long as I live. No, I, I will, but once my streak's over, I don't want to de jeopardize my streak. I, I was just... I just have to, like, talk about it, because for one, I want to be honest with you guys, and for two... There is a rage within my soul right now. It is it is taking every every ounce of every shred of my body that I have left to jump back on this game because I'm so annoyed at it right now. Uh, I've had a nice break. I had a Kinder Bueno bar. I've got a Lime Aid. It's very very nice. Trying to calm myself down. We're ju gonna jump in as Tainted Samson this time and see if we can continue the streak on. Like I said, you guys can class it as not the streak anymore if you want, but personally I don't think so. Unfortunately, we're starting out here with Lazarus Rags, which isn't bad, but also it isn't good. Can you, like, get to a position where I can hit you, please? Thank you. Okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, That was... Hmm. <laughs> that was pretty awful. That was pretty goddamn awful. Anyways, I'm hoping we can have a better run here, Samson. I, I, I didn't want to skip over Tainted Blue Baby, especially considering we did, um... Ooh, that was not a good hit. Especially considering we did, um, Tainted Kane and managed to make our way through that. I thought we'd be okay, but... No, apparently not. Apparently not. Wow, there's some good hits off the bat here. Uh, High Priest will be good for our boss here. Um, I'm hoping we get our Swing -a Ding Ding going in a second here to clear out this room. We're out very red right now. There you go, baby. Sadly, nothing else to get in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this going into the next room. Oh, no, I can, I can. Try and keep it going as long as we can here. Damn it, missed out on a bunch of good stuff there. Missed out on a nickel and everything. Ah, oh, baby. I need to make sure I'm min-maxing as this guy, trying to get our streak going. Um, trying to keep it going. I really want to make sure we can. Because, yeah, those are the two runs. Oh, God. In general, they were, they just weren't great runs. But I was willing to accept a death to a not great run. I was completely fine with accepting a death to a not great run. It happens. I'm not willing to accept deaths, two deaths in a row, to, like, blatant bugs that caused them. Like, 
the the Stephen floor should never be an XL floor. You can literally tell it shouldn't. It, it, it like gives you the same boss twice. It's clearly a bug. Um, and then, yeah, I couldn't see any of my bomb UIs. I had no idea what was coming and kept accidentally hurting myself. I used my bombs. But also, as I was thinking, oh, well, I could just not use my poops this floor. But that meant I couldn't get to the secret room. And part of the reason to go to the Stephen floor is the secret room. So all around, it just wasn't pleasant. It just wasn't pleasant really rubbed me the wrong way and I'm, I'm sure it would do many of you guys as well so that's just the way it is baby that's just the way it is um sometimes life gives you lemons and it then shits down your throat using those lemons hey i do like to get that though good good high priestess here should hopefully give us a quick kill on the boss don't know what path we're gonna go here probably just light path keep it nice and simple as for the question of the day um Hmm. That gave us instant rage. It also gave us squeezy. I am happy. I am happy. Let's continue on. I'm not sure what should do question of the day today. Hmm. I think in one of my failed videos, I just asked you guys for a question of the day. Essentially, at the minute, I'm, I'm backlogging to get ready to go on holiday. Um, It's my birthday on the 24th of August. I, I might have mentioned it in previous episodes. But it's my birthday on the 24th of August. And on the 22nd of August, I'm going to go on holiday um, to Amsterdam for like seven days, I think it is. Um, and I need to backlog Isaac videos ready for that time because I don't want you guys to be out, be without videos. So I'm backlogging, um, which means like I'm recording th like two or three episodes in a day, which is problematic because... Oh, come on now. Which is problematic because uh, it means questions of the day are so much harder to come up with. Okay, this is this room's gonna be a travesty. Cause aren't these the guys that spew out into the uh, into the souls? Yes, they are. This is gonna be horrendous. Luckily, I can hit the shots away reasonably well. But yeah, this is not a great room for us. Holy hell! But yeah, luckily as this guy, we do have some saving grace with our rage mode. Walking to that shot, I do have some saving grace with our rage mode and the ability to um actually deal some good damage early game. Uh, another problem I was having with uh, with our blue baby runs, and one of the reasons I'm not going to play as him again, is he starts with really low stats, and I got literally no tears up and no damage ups for both the runs. They, they were just, like, what, the main reason I got rid of him is because of the bug. But also, for one, I was very salty throughout both runs due to the bugs and due to my stats being terrible. But also, the runs I just don't think were very enjoyable to watch. Especially the first one where I got that, um... It's from Fiend Folios, an item where it cycles uh, special rooms between multiple different special rooms. I felt like five floors, four or five floors, I didn't get a single item room. Not a single item room. I was like, I got like six items the whole run. I'm just like, this is just isn't enjoyable to watch. I don't want to subject you guys to this. This just isn't fun to watch right now. So I, I was like, I made the executive decision... I could have just left them up and said these still don't count against our streak, but I was like, nah, these also get axed because I. It's annoying because like, obviously in a way like it's a waste of my time because it means that I've just wasted like two hours of my life, um, recording videos that I'll never see, YouTube. But still, yeah, we do get ourselves a good little uh, pride pin here. Never ever a bad item. I mean, it is quality four, so to be expected that it's good. This run's definitely going better than previous ones have. Hopefully it can help us keep our streak alive. I've got to remember that this can hurt us. Ooh, nice trinket as well. Very nice indeed. Quickly try and get some damage on our boss with this. Ooh, damn, we did a lot of damage to our boss there. Holy hell. That was beautiful. Holy... Uh, we get Sty. I think Devil Deal is actually pretty plausible here with our current HP. Um, yes, I'll take that. Do you know what? I'll take the book as well, actually. It's not a great book, but it's decent. I probably should have donated to these guys prior, but what's done is done. Oh, well. Right. <clears throat> Let me just quickly grab this key. I think we'll go. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this book, but it's part of Bookworm, and it's, it's reasonably decent. Uh, we didn't get Flight at all, so we can't get that heart that's um, across the gap. Either way, let's just keep going. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of uh, uploading runs where I'm incredibly salty. Some people enjoy the rage videos, and to be fair, I do as well sometimes. 
But I don't I don't want to be uploading videos that are literally just me raging, especially two back to back. I don't think that's a super enjoyable viewing experience for you guys. I don't want to subject you to that. Um hmm, I've got an idea here, but it's it's gonna be kinda of hard to make it work. First of all, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Uh, I was like, well, we got piercing shot, but now I know why. Right, quickly, 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 quickly. Yes, it worked. Basically, I wanted to get Rage Bird in here so I could open all these chests for free. And we fucking got a theme. We goddamn got a theme out of that. Which is actually kind of silly now that I think about it. I've just realised, so... Um, I made the uh, mod, or at least I, I designed the mod where mimic chests give you uh, on-hit item effects, but a theme is no longer an on-hit item. So, technically you shouldn't be able to get a theme from those chests anymore, realistically. But we'll just leave it in there. I suppose technically it is some, it does look like a, it does look like a, a spike. I've, I've got some spike related items in there. Like uh, eight inch nails and stuff, so technically it still kind of works, but it's not, it's not really supposed to be in there anymore. But I ain't gonna complain right now. Maybe it's just a nice little special bonus that you can get, and we'll just accept it for what it is. Justice, it's a justice there. I'd say this is a pretty decent run so far. Only thing that could make this better is getting some good luck upgrades going. I don't know why these guys like have a little black ring where they pop out of the ground now. That seems to be a bug that's come out of nowhere. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. Don't know if it's specifically on caves or if it happens all the time. I definitely have to look into that. Got a good bit of money for our shop here. Consumable gain is on fire. We are doing really well consumable wise. A theme still popping the hell off. Yeah, kind of a funny residual from uh, that mod that I made and not patched since they changed the theme. No thank you, big boy. I know we've got this damage thing here, but I'd rather get this going first. Holy damn. Okay, money is through the roof this run. This run's way more enjoyable to view, I hope. <laughs> this is actually something going on here. But yeah, I really don't I, I really don't want to be the sort of person that like cheats streaks or whatnot. Um But I don't I also don't want to lose my streak to something that's clearly a bug. Um, especially when, at the minute, I'm really enjoying the streak. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's keeping me, it's, it's giving me more reason to play at the minute. Ooh, definitely take that. Books now activate another random effect. Active item on use. Uh, doesn't proc items that reroll her or kill you. Okay, that might be better. Is that, is that specifically on books? Yeah, let's give this a go, maybe. Uh, the, the, the godly tomato is pretty goddamn good, but I don't think I've ever used this before. And I'm pretty intrigued by it. Could be really good. Could be really bad also, but could be really good. Soul heart there. Shops are now free for that item that I just picked up. Does trigger a bad event when walking to shops, but most of the time it's not anything terrible. Um, this is kind of interesting. So, <laughs> this is actually very interesting. Okay, so... Let's just recap what's happened here. So, <laughs> this is, I'm actually baffled by how interesting this is. We just got Abundance, which makes all shop items free. In the shop is Black Card, which makes all shop items free. And also, Dad's Wallet, which makes all shop items free. <laughs> what the fuck are the chances in that? What the hell? That's crazy. We can only take one item with Abundance, I believe. Uh, so it's not as good as the other ones, but that's still... That's still really funny. <laughs> That's really interesting. What the hell? We got three items that make the shop free. Ooh, nice. Lots of mini Isaacs. Yeah, that, that, that's really intriguing, that is. <laughs> okay, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how uh, how we fare with this book, activating random effects. It's only a four-room charge as well, so it's probably a good book for it. Uh, obviously, getting something like um, How to Jump would be insane if that works, which I imagine it doesn't. Or uh, telepathy for dummies would be good. Uh, and then in here, we've got two, again, pretty good things here. I like it. Right, oh, where we go. 
Away we go. Feeling a lot better. I didn't see the uh, the book do an additional effect, but it might be like that it was a combat effect that I just couldn't see if there wasn't any enemies in the room. I'll try and do it with enemies in the room from now on. Here's a perfect time to try that. Yeah, that feared everything. Oh, we got a Joker card as well. Booyah, baby. This is a very, very nice run, this is. Don't think our streak is at too much risk right now. But yeah, um, I don't I don't want to put off playing the hard characters forever, but also I don't want to risk our streak playing the hard characters for now. Uh, because I, this is my longest streak ever on the save file. My longest streak ever on the channel is 28. I checked the other day. So 28 is what we're aiming to be, although I have to say that's a quite ambitious thing to go for, especially considering that was on a Dead God save file where we had a lot easier time of doing that. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I think we can definitely get to 20. Um, we've got two, this run and next run to go. And I, I think this run's reasonably in the bag so far, I would say. I don't know what active. Oh, sprinkler this time. Nice. Now, I wonder if it has to be an active with the same amount of charges. I don't think Mum's pad has the same level of charges as this, so it might be okay. Yeah, this this room's kind of annoying. Oh, stupid stupid hit there. Okay, we're good. We'll just hold our Joker for now. But yeah, at the minute we don't have any damage ups, but I think um, Minos plus uh, Pride Pin is kind of augmenting our damage pretty well. My unicorn. So that, that's a six room charge active right there. We got another Joker card. What the hell? Well, we can't take one with us, so I guess we just use one now. Prank cookies really interesting with this setup. I think I'm just going to take Prank Cookie. Prank Cookie plus... Uh, oh, damn, that's a lot of money right there. I don't really need the money, but I'm going to go for it anyways. But yeah, Prank Cookie plus... Um, Pride Pin's really interesting. All we need now is... Um, is... What's it called? Play-Doh Cookie. Then we've got, like, all of them. I don't think I've ever had both of these at once. Very intriguing, it is. Got two different cycling effects. Oh, I took the pride pin off of our head, though. I like wearing the pride pin. So there's our second book, and it's a two-room charge. So I think I'm going to stick with this, because it's better off for the... Um, yeah, we'll definitely take that. Um, I decharged that active. Um, seen our item rooms and stuff. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I think um, I'm gonna stick with this because it's lower charges, which means we can use our trinket effect more often. It's also just a good book in general, so not a bad thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. A very good item here as well. And we didn't get a devil deal, so I feel justified in using my joker. Very nice. We get an XL floor here. Little bit of a shame. Because that means we miss out on an additional devil deal. Ooh, walked right into that one. Good. Okay, so so far I'm not noticing any additional effects here, which isn't great. Unless I've just been unlucky both those times. Cherry Bomb, unfortunately, is an active. But this does count as a book, though, so it should work. Good. good. Oh, really? The Double Troll. The Double Troll. Classic. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's a shame. I got rid of uh, a book that worked for a book that didn't. I should have tested it before taking it, really, but... Hey, Herd is what it is. I'm liking Minos with BFF. Minos with BFF seems tanky. 
Excuse me, big boy. He's a beefy boy. See if our book's doing something in this fall. It might just be that we're getting effects that aren't visible. No, it's, de it's definitely not having an effect, right? Which is a real shame. I mean, hopefully we'll just get Bookworm later down the line and get a different book that works, but... It must just work for vanilla books. That, that, that must be the issue. It must be pre-programmed which, um, which books it works for. I mean, still, though, this book is really good, so I don't mind so much. It's just the trinket effect no longer works the way it was working. I'm sure I read it again and make sure I'm not missing something. Books. Uh, now it's another random effect. Okay, yeah, I am. I am reading it right. Can fight this guy at least. Just creep on the floor. Okay, we're good. We got oh, there's creep everywhere. It took so much damage to the creep there. Just some HP. It's good for devil dealing, so I don't mind. Just getting HP. We're going back for our other item room now. Hoping we're going to find somewhere to spend our money, because shops aren't really the best way for us to spend our money anymore, because we literally, they're all free. Hoping we get some beggars around, maybe. Good, good. Minos. I wish Minos would stick on one enemy rather than flying around, but then again, he might, might be a little overpowered if he did that. He still does really good damage. He's still a, a good fella. Good. Grab that bomb. I love the speed we get when outside of combat. So goddamn nice. Go, Minos fella. Oh, we devolved you into something else. And you as well. Into enemies that are much easier to kill, actually. That's kind of nice. But yeah, the bedtime store is really nice because it basically means that you can fight enemies one at a time. Also, I think the first shot after you put them to sleep um, does double damage. So you get a little bit extra damage on them too. Not exactly sure how to get through this room safely. Oh, bugger. I'm taking so much bad damage at the moment. I'm playing too quick. I'm going too fast. Going too fast. At least we got Gimpy, so we have a chance to get Soul Heart when we do get hit. Unfortunately, we're in every which way apart from the way we needed to, apparently, here. Oh, yes. Minos doing some good shit there. Don't know why I used my book there. That was a really weird use of my book. Good. One more wave. And we can put this wave to sleep as well. Yeah, it definitely doesn't work. That's a real shame. Ha! <sighs> book of Sim was doing such good work, and I tossed it asunder. Maybe it just doesn't work with things below a certain level of charge, because that would be too strong. Hardship Balloon is insanely good. Basically, it gives us a lot of HP. What It like changes colour pair room, whatever it pops on is what it gives us. Um, and once it reaches Eternal Heart, it automatically pops and restarts the chain. The longer we can go without getting hit, the better. Really, 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 really good item. Beautiful. Right, boss time. It is time to kill said boss man. See if we get a devil deal or not. I keep using my book like straight away for some reason. It, it, it kind of works actually. Nice. I think I did a good job there. Yes, 
slow kill in here a little bit. There you go, we're good to go. Didn't get the Devil Deal, so we can use Joker card. And actually, we can use it to skip Boss Rush if we want. Uh, we want to do Polaroid here. But we do actually need to do Boss Rush. We don't have great luck, but I think Ghost Pepper's pretty fucking good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll, 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 we'll try and do Boss Rush here. If things get a little fishy, we can just um, skip our way out of here. Thing is, with these fires, we're going to be doing really good damage anyways here. Nice. Got them both. And we are going to get a book charges here. It's just a shame we don't have the extra stuff going on. Good, good, good. A Fame hopefully doing some good work for us too. Oh, we get a charge per wave here because you get two charges per wave, don't you? Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it just basically nullifies the other boss for a little bit. Not long, because Minos likes to activate them straight away. But it does something, at least. Hey, you got both of them again. Honestly, if we get a, a bird's eye fire out there, it's game over for them. Yeah, Minos, can you stop attacking the enemy as soon as it falls asleep? I'd like to keep it asleep, please. Be way more convenient for us. The ball, get the ball. Don't know where the bees are coming from. I think that's one of our various attack patterns that we've got going on right now. I get a bomb in there. Doesn't do a ton for us. The fires are, like I said, really what kick it off. Sadly, I got hit there. Oh, God, I'm taking a lot of damage right now, but I'm basically gambling on this being all okay. <laughs> it's a pretty hefty gamble, honestly. Angel boy coming up. Oh, dude. Walk into me more, why don't you? Didn't expect this guy to be so... Like, this this boss rush to be so rough for us, but... Is what it is, I guess. Slow you right down. Yeah, Minos is really not good with the bedtime story thing. For, for bosses specifically. I think for regular rooms, it'd actually be mostly fine. There's our fire. Seems that we spew out more fires when we're swinging with our axe. Or our jawbone, should I call it. Okay, you're a little bit annoying. You've managed to uh, kill each other, I think, there, pretty much. Lovely. We're doing really good damage overall, I think. Our actual tier-to-tier -tier damage isn't great, but certain tier effects when they proc are kind of crazy. And then our swinging damage plus the fires is really good. Like, our overall DPS is actually kind of crazy. And I don't really know how much Minos is doing. I think him being BFF'd is obviously a big hell. But he just doesn't stick on enemies very long is the only problem. Like this, in, in this situation here, what's taking forever? Go. Nice. We've got to only have a few waves left at this point. Spidey boy. Oh, you went straight through the Ethereum there. Bad luck for you, friend. Okay, we've got two kind of annoying ones here because they're going to split up. Oh, actually, I didn't think about the fact that Ethereum will proc on these guys. So these guys are actually a piece of piss. I completely forgot that these guys will just affirm themselves to death. That is very nice. Okay, Gerdy's a little tricky here because I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on him very well. I'm basically just focusing on the heart right now. 
The heart is dropping down creep though, it's making it very hard to attack. Oh dude, I didn't realize you jumped towards me, I thought you jumped in place. Okay, I've really ruined my health doing boss rush here. I better get a good item for this. My health has gotten significantly worse. Okay, you are charmed. That's kind of interesting. Okay, you're dead. Good. A hey, teeth shot. That's probably the highest damaging one we got. Fire's going well. We gotta be a few waves off done now. Maybe, maybe this wave. Maybe next one. I feel like we've been here a, a while now. We've been killing waves pretty quickly. Yeah, there you go. Hey, that's actually a pretty decent item. I'm not too displeased with that. No soul hearts about, unfortunately. Go out here. We will Joker just to see what we get. I mean, I'm pretty happy we went in here. I got hit. God damn it. I will take this guy. Sadly, we can't get back into Bosch Rush because there were so many hearts in there. Friends till the end. Ah, oh, there's so many hearts on this floor. Look at that. Boy, you could have a field day right now. He could go ham. I think now that we've got Dark Bum, I was a little bit worried, but we've got Dark Bum. We've also got the heart-shaped balloon, which will feed Dark Bum and me various heart types. I'd, I'd like it if he didn't give me fucking pills all the time, though. That's two pills so far to no black hearts. Not a great ratio. Also, we got Gimpy, gotta remember that too. I don't know if um, BFF does anything for our boy here. I don't think it does. Ooh, my heart shaped balloon is also BFF as well. Dude, two pills and a card? I really need some black hearts, my guy. Could use some help, friend. Got a good old shoop de whoop. You're getting hearts like crazy. I am feeding you. Now give daddy some sauce. Hey, a heart pops and gives an eternal heart. That's what you like to see. Not a big fan of how this room is looking right now. Yeah, I was going to say, there's pretty much guaranteed damage in there, wasn't there? I'm not particularly worried. I know my health doesn't look great, but we've got a revive, and we've got two or three pretty good ways of gaining more HP. Don't do it to me. Thank you, finally. Good, 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 good. And also, Gimpy hasn't paid out yet, but Gimpy will pay out eventually. With uh, with a soul heart when we get hit, that is. Not just red hearts on enemy death. Oh god! No, this guy's got... Oh, dude! Okay, I got two soul hearts out of that dude. I'm okay with it. That guy had like a sucky power on him. Was like sucking me towards him. I couldn't get away. I don't know where those two soul hearts came from, but I'm, I'm happy with them. Another fucking pill! <laughs> Why? It's like really bad luck on this guy right now. Really, really bad luck. Thought he was gonna be our hero, baby. Sadly, I was wrong, apparently. Oh, dude, then we have to fight this guy. Guy's nightmare fuel. Oh, although he's not actually that bad when you've got a theme. The chain reaction on this guy just ended himself. Hey, there's a black heart. Good on you, lad. Oh, we got green Krampus. Have I seen green Krampus before? I don't recognize green Krampus. I wonder if he drops anything different. Oh my fucking life. Oh, 
Well, he's hard, I know that. No, he just drops Krampus' head like normal. Bollocks. We've been gaining and losing hearts like crazy this floor. I'm still confident though, I just need to fucking play better and not get hit as much. I say that and immediately get hit again. Wow, 1 to 12 and I gained 1. Not that I needed bombs exactly. A lot of the time I'm getting hit is just because I forget what some of the enemies on Womb do. Still, even this far in Fiend Folio, I, I completely forget how most of the enemies work. Wait, do you want this heart or is that not a heart you care for? It's not. Damn it. This is a really gross room. Oh, wait. Okay, it doesn't matter. He got deaded pretty quick. Give us that black heart, baby. Oh, baby, black hearts are all that I need. So you say, yeah, just the friend. Oh, baby, you. Right. Okay. Things are looking okay right now. We're not. We're not in too bad of a position. Just a few more rooms without getting hit and I get an eternal heart. Bad gas, gotta love it. This guy will definitely play. HP up or we reroll? I think we reroll, don't we? We've got so much money. Yeah, we definitely take that. We've got so much money right now, it's very worthwhile. Oh, we got a Baleful Heart this time. Not quite as good as an Eternal Heart. Still decent, though. They're just easy to lose, is all. I can't what this guy does. Go get it, friend. Hey, another Black Heart, you beauty. Told you it'd be fine. He just needs to get his groove on. Once he get, gets into the groove of things, once he understands the, the, the assignment, he starts doing a lot better. That was just silly of me. I got two soul hearts for it, so I don't mind. Yeah, I told you that the heart-shaped balloon is amazing. <laughs> Basically, once you get past like three rooms without taking damage, it's going to give you something positive. And this jabroni doing his thing in the background as well. It's all good, man. It's all good. A pill. And not even a good one. Biggest disappointment in this run is him just giving me so many goddamn pills. Gimpy is paying out like crazy, though, with the hearts. Unfortunately, we do have to deal with this version of this guy, of course. But, but, oh, we killed him before he got to his final phase. That is satisfying. We got a Devil Deal as well. Been getting a hell of a lot of Devil Deals so far. I don't think I want either of those, because too spooky would just make meleeing enemies really hard, right? Um, and we just go Light Path. Okay. Hopefully we can go the right way first time here. I don't think I've got to kill the spiky boys. No, I don't. Ooh, we got one of those repairing hearts. Nice. Did fight this guy, which isn't ideal because I do get hit by him quite a lot. But he can drop an angel item and or a soul heart. So. Worst case scenario, we're in for a, a soul heart here. Really invincible with this much HP. And we got the soul heart. Not that bothered about getting a soul heart. It's still pretty useful. Good. Another heart for you, my boy. That is a card. Although it's a decent card. Eh, I guess say it's a decent card, but actually I don't want to trade away um, damage for potential HP, to be honest. Why would I? Jabroni. 
joy pills. I don't get much out of those. Oh god. Hey, it pops and I gain two soul hearts. A fame. Just so crazy that we got it. I'm so glad I made that play by turning into my rage form and then scooting into that room. Considering I couldn't get out of that ring with that guy, it was kind of BS. Right. I forget, how do joy pills work again? Okay, yeah, I gained double damage for a bit. I thought it was. I think it's double damage, but I take double damage or something like that. The black heart. We're getting so many returns on investment with this guy. Got our rage at the wrong time there, but there you go, he's dead. Gusty Blood unlocked. Good, good. We've got plenty of keys going into this next floor. I think we should be good to wrap this up pretty quick. Mustard Seed, lovely. Um, I think that's pretty good. And then both of these are just so, so. We can see our health now. Our health is actually really decent. Off the virus there. Yeah, basically once you travel a certain distance, our tears gain piercing. Pretty good. Another card. Not particularly interested in that one there. Ooh, hello. Swing, 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 swing. Oh, God damn it, the death animations take up all of our goddamn time with our swingy. <laughs> a theme. Being wrecked by his own familiars there. Gotta love it. Self sabotage. I'm wondering how much charming these guys are actually gonna help. Seemingly not a lot. Right. We've gone all the wrong way so far, that's fine by me. Curse of Rebirth on this floor. It's actually not too bad because most, obviously, of the enemies are bosses and bosses can't rebirth. But it's still a little annoying. Hey, we got a double soul heart payout. Oh, piercing with this effect is crazy good. I don't think I've ever had that item, you know. The item that adds the ring of technology around your tears. I get it from, um, from Pride Pin. But I, I don't think I've ever had the item that gives it. Maybe it's an item from a challenge that I've never done. Oh, dude, this guy's payout rate has been fucking awful, this run. He's given us so many pills compared to Black Hearts. There you go, there's a Black Heart now, at least. I gotta say, I can't fault him, he's still giving me quite a lot. But, like, the value I'm getting out of him is still good, but it's still, like, his rate, rate of payouts has been pretty, pretty low compared to usual, I'd say. Bob's care, so it doesn't do much for us, but there you go. Oh my god. A little bit stuck in it here. Oh my god, what is going on in this room right now? Again, there's another enemy where we have to wait for the death animation to play out. Good. Boss should be any minute now, there you go. You can always tell. Or at least I can. Another eternal heart. Ooh, that guy's that guy's tears are very distracting, little planetoid dude. Well this guy's staying asleep for a really long time for some reason. I think it's because he was like mid-transition to his next phase or something. Can't believe how many blue fires we're putting out as well, considering we don't have um we don't have any luck. Kind of an it's kind of insane, really. 
And the rest of this is just victory lap. It's no problem at all. There you go. Well, there we go. We did it. We don't need to do Delirium. We've already done it as this character. But there you go. We've wrapped that up. And we beat our win streak to 19. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.